Something to pay attention to, a critical point in many areas, is bias. Machine learning models can easily become biased because they are trained on data that is itself biased. How so and so what is there a way out? Right. So there are, are many ways that machine learning applications um, can demonstrate bias. It, it might be in the, the interface and some of the, the product decisions, um, sometimes even in the algorithm itself. But um, by far the most common way that bias can be inadvertently introduced in, into a machine learning application is if the training data uh, for that application is biased. Um, so uh, a very simple example, uh, let's think about a uh, self-driving car. Uh, and if you had only trained that car to drive on the right-hand side of the road, um, that's all that existed in your training data, uh, as soon as you move that car to the, the left-hand side of the road, it would be um, completely useless. Um, or even, you know, uh, you're driving in, in one country on the right-hand side of the road, uh, but you have different laws for when you can turn right after stopping at, at traffic lights. Um, uh, you have signs that are interpreted in, in, in different ways. Uh, so if you're not uh, mindful about having training data, which covers the, the full diversity of, of um, uh, different local road, road rules, um, then you're, you are going to have a, 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 uh, <laughs> an application that is, is not just biased, it's dangerous um, if it encounters something that, that it hasn't seen before. Um, and so that's one very obvious example, but these kinds of biases can, can permeate into um, any kind of technology. Um, so for example, in speech recognition, um, uh, how many languages does your phone uh, actually understand? Uh, how, many, how many languages does your in-home device actually understand? And within those languages, are there uh, different accents that it is better with or worse with? And uh, if you look at the accents that it's worth with, it, uh, does that correlate with people who uh, happen to be less wealthy um, or are, uh, an ethnicity uh, that has uh, historically been disempowered? Um, uh, a lot of the time, the easiest data to, to, um, uh, to obtain uh, is, is data that's generated from uh, among the world's wealthiest people. So if you're not mindful about the process of, of what you choose to, to annotate to go into your algorithm, um, then there's a really good chance that you're going to be perpetuating that bias in your application. So humans in this loop, you think are the cause of the bias or those who can rectify the bias or actually both? In, in this situation, the, the humans can absolutely be the cause of the bias. Um, you, you, uh, if you are labeling data, um, certainly you, you have your own backgrounds and experience and um, uh, for example, with uh, speech recognition, you might be better or worse with accents that you're more or less familiar with. Um, and so that can lead to uh, better or worse quality transcription um, and, and therefore a bias um, uh, in favor of the, the accents that you're personally familiar with. Um, I think one of the most interesting areas uh, is uh, being able to, to mitigate the bias, um, uh, reduce it, um, maybe in some cases, remove it completely. Um, in the, the process of annotating data. Uh, so if you can be smart about the kind of data you're annotating, um, then you can remove that bias entirely. Uh, so for example, you might have millions of hours of, uh, of footage from, from self-driving cars, but you know that 90% of it um, happens to be on, on roads in the US. Um, so you can, uh, instead of randomly sampling those videos uh, for humans to annotate, you can make sure that you sample um, uh, the same amount um, uh, across all the, uh, the regions that you care about, um, thereby removing that inherent bias in, in your, your original sample. Um, and um, it'll depend on the algorithm as well. Um, sometimes you don't necessarily need to um, have an exactly equal uh, representative sample of, of data. Uh, sometimes you can just meet a minimum threshold uh, and then you'll get performance, which um, it's certainly below the level of, of detection of, of, of any bias. Um, so it's one of the things that, that I, I find um, really important um, when I'm thinking about teaching people uh, strategies for sampling data and annotating data is to think all the way through, right to the end algorithm, right to how it's deployed in an application, um, what might be the downstream effects of which data you choose to annotate.